Hi there, this is Bonnie, Bonnie Gray, the Faith Barista. I wanted to just share with you one of the favorite places that I love to go to in the morning when I take a walk, and it's here in the Redwoods. I love being here because it's quiet, and before I start my day, I love to be able to just have some time for myself, to feed my soul, just to be in the silence, and hear the birds sing. Well, today I wrote about an instrument that I picked up just last year. It was a time of my life where I really didn't know if I was going to get better. I mean, I knew in God's plan I would get better someday. What I'm talking about are my panic attacks. And I'd experienced some childhood memories that were very traumatic and they started coming alive when I began writing the manuscript for my book, Finding Spiritual White Space. And during that time, as anybody can tell you who's been through the journey of healing, is that we don't know how long that journey will take. And when I was in the midst of it, I just thought, gosh, how long is this going to take and what will my life become if I'm so limited? I'm on my bed a lot, I'm not able to be with others that often have a lot of social anxiety during that time. How can I make my life, how can I spend my life close to God in a beautiful way if this is what it's going to mean for me, this journey of healing, and I'm willing to submit to it and yield to it, how can I make that season of my life um, of healing a more beautiful, a more restful time since I'm going to be by myself alone a lot anyhow so I was thinking I don't know why but there was a time when I um, I just thought of this musical instrument called the Erhu and it's a Chinese um, violin it has two strings and I heard it as a child I uh, was born in Chinatown San Francisco and I would always hear this music and it's from my early childhood and I just thought what if I learned to play it um, I have all the time in the world anyhow, and I don't have really much to do. So out of that time, I went to go find someone to teach me Erhu. Er means two, and um, it's a two-string violin, two-string fiddle. So I just picked it up last year, and I'm just going to play you a little song. And um, I just want to encourage you, if this is a season that's difficult for you, um, and you don't know how long that journey is going to take, whatever difficulty you may be going through, think of what you can do that you can invite God into that you would enjoy and that you might learn and enjoy for yourself um, that's soothing for you. So here's a song, it's called Picking Tea Leaves. I've never picked tea leaves, but I do like to drink tea. So this song is called Picking Tea Leaves. So that's the Erhu. Now I would encourage you to listen to the YouTube link that I just posted in my blog post today because that is actually where I want to get to. I don't know how long it would take, but um, I want you to hear what the Erhu sounds like once it's been, um, I guess, mastered to a point where it can really be enjoyable. So mine is the beginner's version. But uh, again, I just wanted to encourage you that maybe there's a difficult time that you're going through right now and you just don't see the end of it, but um, 
God can use that time to bring something beautiful into your life and um, to maybe just think of that time as, you know, um, time of discovering what it is that, that you would enjoy and that um, in the bitter, there's also some sweetness that can be there. So um, thank you for taking some time to take a break and to um, spend some time with me here in my favorite place with the Redwoods and um, I hope that you get a chance to share with me um, what are some of the things that have come out of um, maybe a difficult time for you but it's turned out to be something beautiful that God made or uh, brought out. Um, thank you um, for just being with me on a journey and I hope you have a wonderful day and a restful week and um, I'm so glad you're here. All right, take care.